Assistant Township Manager for Northampton Township. I'd like to thank everybody for coming out today uh, to honor two of Northampton's finest. Um, uh, we lucked out with the weather. I appreciate everybody coming out on this breezy day. Um, we really lucked out with the temperatures and the rains from last night. Um, with that being said, I'd like to introduce Dr. Kim Rose. Uh, Dr. Rose is the liaison from the Board of Supervisors that serves with the Wall of Honor Committee uh, in helping uh, making a recommendation to the board for uh, this year's honorees. Uh, Dr. Kim Rose. Uh, on behalf of the Northampton Township Board of Supervisors, I am pleased to welcome you all here today to this wonderful ceremony to recognize two outstanding Northampton Township residents. The Northampton Township Wall of Honor is an award to recognize individuals who have made lasting contributions to the community and have contributed to the quality of life for the residents of Northampton Township, Bucks County. The objective of the Wall of Honor program is to see that individuals who have made such contrib contributions to the community are recognized. In 2017, the township solicited nominations from the public. In addition, the Board of Supervisors recruited and appointed community leaders to serve on the Wall of Honor Committee. I would like to thank the members of this committee for their assistance. From Park and Rec Board Member Steve Breyer, Township Resident at Large John Bishop, there he is. Ministerium Douglas J. Dwyer, Addisville Reformed Church. And we also have Northampton Youth Sports Representative Pete Sparrow, Holland Little League. And, you know, Pete and our Northampton Township Business and Professional Association Representative Jerry Bowen. To be considered for this prestigious award, nominees must have been a resident during the time of community service, contribution, or accomplishment. They must have participated as a volunteer in activities and or accomplish, accomplishments that benefited or have had a positive impact on the lives of the residents of Northampton Township, demonstrated outstanding qualities of leadership, community spirit, and would be considered a role model. After careful and thoughtful deliberation, The committee reviewed a total of 14 nominations, unanimously recommending to the Board of Supervisors two wonderful candidates for their consideration. Now, on behalf of the Northampton Township Board of Supervisors, it is my honor and privilege to congratulate the 2018 honorees for the Community Wall of Honor Award. George Lang and Pete Palestina. I'd like to tell you a little bit about each one of them. George Lang has been a Northampton Township resident for 20 plus years. He's on the Northampton Day Committee, leader and member for 20 plus years. Northampton Township Lions Club member, 20 plus years and President, Director, and Current Treasurer. Volunteerism, Meals on Wheels Driver, Masonic Lodge in Newtown, Addisville Reformed Church, member of the Church's Band of Brothers. Pete Palestina, Marine Corps League Patriot Detachment, 1230 member and paymaster. Some of the positions Pete has held in the township Board of Supervisors, 1983 to 2007. That's 24 years. The Planning Commission from 1981 to 83. The Township's Cable TV Committee, 1981. Former member and chairman of Southwest Bucks so County Solid Waste Disposal Advisory Committee. Northampton Township Veterans Advisory Commission. Coordinator of the Northampton Township Patriots Flag Program. 
honoring township residents in the military who served in Afghanistan, Afghanistan, Iraq, and other combat areas. He also implemented and coordinated fire safety in the home contest with Council Rock School District, sponsored by Philadelphia Chapter of Chartered Property and Casualty Underwriter, 1984 to present. Northampton Days Committee Member and Talent Show Chairman. Active member of James E. Kinney Senior Center. Volunteer Coordinator for the Bucks County Senior Games. Well, both of these, these men are, this is well deserved. And I just would like to recognize a couple local dignitaries that are here today. We have our representative elect, Wendy Thomas. Our police chief, Mike Clark. And now I'd like to call up our former congressman, Mike Fitzpatrick, and um, Ryan from Tommy Tomlinson's office. They both have awards to give out to um, today. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, I want to apologize real quick on behalf of Tommy. The Bristol Borough Parade was actually canceled due to rain, and Brian and Tommy are actually serving as kind of like Grand Marshal, so unfortunately he couldn't be here today, but he got a, a heck of a, a, of a uh, representative for Congressman Fitzpatrick here. Uh, and I'm here on behalf of Tommy. Uh, my name is Ryan Skajillis. I'm the Senator's Policy Director, and, uh, you know, serving the 6th Senate District, uh, Northampton is one of our largest municipalities. Uh, and you get to see what a wonderful community it is. You get to see how great the people are. And it's simply because of men like Pete and George. Their commitment to their community is unbelievable. Uh, it's constant. It's nonstop. They thrive to make sure Northampton is the best that it can possibly be. So on behalf of Senator Tomlinson, on behalf of the Senate of Pennsylvania, thank you very much. Uh, real quick, I have a citation here, which I will read um, for both George and Peter. <clears throat> Whereas the Senate of Pennsylvania takes great pleasure in recognizing those citizens who through dedication and excellence contribute in a meaningful way to the well-being of their communities and ultimately to all the people of this great commonwealth. Whereas Peter Palestina and George Lang are being honored upon their introduction to, into the Northampton Township Wall of Fame during a ceremony which was being, being held November 25th, 2018. Whereas the Northampton Township Wall of Honor recognizes individuals who have made lasting contributions to the community and have contributed to enhancing the quality of life for Northampton Township residents. Any definition of a full and productive life must include service to others. Through their many initiatives to benefit their community and by their personal example, Mr. Palestina and Mr. Lang clearly re reflects the true spirit and mission of this Commonwealth. Now therefore, the Senate of the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania congratulates Peter Palestina as well as George Lang upon their richly deserved recognition a firmly states that they are a shining example of community spirit whose many contributions are worthy of deep gratitude and respect. And on behalf of Senator Tommy Tomlinson, Peter, and Mr. Lang, congratulations, and I have a citation here for you. Thank you, Dr. Rose. Uh, good afternoon. What a beautiful day God has given us for a very auspicious occasion here for Northampton Township and for the entire community. I'm obviously here representing my brother Brian. I know Brian is so pleased that Northampton Township has decided to dedicate this part of what was a former federal facility, now a beautiful township park, um, to recognize uh, great community members, great Americans who give so much back to the community. Uh, when Brian was uh, was thinking about running and made the decision to run for the United States Congress, I was talking to him about the different communities throughout the 8th District, now the 1st District, specifically in Bucks County. And I described Northampton Township really as the garden spot of Bucks County. A beautiful, beautiful place uh, which has developed so well as the counties developed around it. it. Never sort of forgot its history, never never forgot its people. But it has everything that you, you look for in a great community. It's got safe communities, safe, safe towns, it's got great schools, it has affordable housing for individuals, uh, families of, of the great diversity throughout Northampton Township, but the best part of Northampton Township, as great as all, all those things are, really are, the, the best part of Northampton Township are the people. 
the people that make it up, the people that serve in office, the people that uh, represent and serve in the, the emergency services, the, the teachers, the parents, the, the scout leaders, and, the, and the, those who run the, the baseball teams and the football, the football clubs around the community. And so it's, it's a great thing from time to time for the community in all that activity and all the great things that are happening in Northampton, just take a step back and thank some of those individuals that make Northampton Township and Bucks County such a great place to live and to work and, and to raise a family to retire in. And so uh, we're here today to recognize two of those individuals, uh, both George and Pete. Um, George for his significant community service, as we heard, Meals and Wheel, Meals on, Meals on Wheels, uh, uh, the Lions Club, uh, active in his church at Addison. Uh, Pete, of course, we all know is a longtime township supervisor who I had the opportunity to work with uh, for many years on a lot of important community projects, and of course, his work as well in the Marine Corps League. And uh, just as uh, just as I began to speak, I know that Brian had a flag of our nation that was flown over the Capitol for George and Pete, and it literally was just just arri arrived from Brian's office, and I have it with me. I'll deliver it to them at the conclusion of the ceremony. But along with this flag, of course, goes our uh, thanks for all that you guys have done for the community, and our hope that your future is filled with uh, many ad additional graces and blessings uh, for Northampton Township in the future. So thanks, guys, for all you've done and all we know you'll continue to do. We appreciate it. Okay. We're all gathered here today to honor and recognize all of their wonderful contributions to Northampton Township with the unveiling of bronze plaques that are permanently mounted on this wall of honor for all to see and to become a part of Northampton Township's history. Uh, before we do that, I just want to remind everybody we have refreshments afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Now, without any further ado, please help me count down the unveiling of the inaugural <laughs> inductees of the Northampton Township of the Wall of Honor Award. Three, two, one. Come on, stand back a second. Daddy, get, Daddy, get a little bit closer. Daddy, you want to be in it? You want to be in it. Can you, can you guys stand behind the plaques? Or beside them? Or next to them? On either side of them? And the sun shining. <laughs> Are we done yet? One more. Okay. Okay, thank you. 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 All of you for coming today. It means a lot to me and George. It's such an honor to be one of the first two recipients of this award. And words cannot describe the feeling of gratitude to be honored here with George Lang. My thanks to the selection committee. I moved here from Philadelphia in 1978 and was immediately impressed with how our local government works compared to what I left in Philadelphia. Here, the smallest voice, voice is heard by your local officials who go out of their way to render assistance. It was something I wanted to be part of. I got involved in politics, became a member of the Planning Commission, and then ran for supervisor, an office that I held for 24 years. I tried to do the best I could to make Northampton a great place to live, but I didn't do it alone. I served with great people who are no longer with us today. Jim Kinney, John Long, and George Kamalowski. My friends in government, but more importantly, my friends in life. I'm not going to bore you with some of the things I've done. You've already heard some of them. But I will say there are two things I am proud of, and they are the Northampton Patriots flag program, started in 2003, and the CPCU fire 
essay contest co-sponsored with Council Rock started 35 years ago. Both of these programs continue today. We will be presenting the awards to 12 children who won the fire safety contest at the December 19th Board of Supervisors meeting. As to the Patriots Flag Program, we welcomed home Lieutenant Kelsey Glover two weeks ago, one of 87 of our township military residents who served in the combat area and have been honored under the program. To my wonderful family, my wife Joan, daughter Melissa, son-in-law Matt, son Peter Jr., daughter-in-law Jill, my grandchildren Matthew and Sean, and my dad Sal and mother-in-law Millie who could not be here today. Thank you all for putting up with me for all these years and know that I love you all. To all my friends, too numerous to mention, thank you for getting to know me, thank you for being my friend, and thank you for being here today, especially since the Eagles game is underway. <laughs> I love you all, thanks. First, I want to thank all of you who are here, many of whom I know, and some of my relatives are here, my daughters are here, my grandchildren are here. Uh, two of my, my uh, grandson and his wife came from York, Pennsylvania to be here, which just amazed me. <laughs> and uh, I, I just want to say thank you to all of you who had anything to do with this. I had no idea this was coming. I don't know if Pete did or not, but I sure didn't know and it was just out of the blue, so I was totally surprised. And uh, I just hope others of you will keep on doing things in the township because you never know when your turn will come. <laughs> so thank you all, and uh, God bless you all. Thank you both, both uh, George and Pete. And please, have some refreshments. <laughs> I want to go see the cake. Have you seen the cake? Yeah. Come on. <laughs> <laughs>